What's up guys, Lightning Nova here, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So the summon, so, so we're going to do some summons today, and literally dropped at 2.30 in the morning was this Super Saiyan 2 Goku Angel, as well as this Vegeta. Now, is it enough? You may notice there's a Super Saiyan 4 Goku on the left side. This Goku is actually the LR, and this Vegeta on the right side is actually the LR from the 4th year anniversary. So they're apparently on the banners. Okay, so, um, if we get the Zeno Summon, the Whis Ryan Summon, or the, um, or the Goku Black Rift Summon, we are guaranteed the new Goku and Vegeta, because... Those guarantee us a new LR or Dokkan Fest exclusive character. And the only new uh, Dokkan Fest characters is the Goku, as for the Gohan is not. And either, and I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, that the Goku is the new Dokkan Fest exclusive and Debora is not. So if we get any, so we're going to do, of course, four summons on both of them. And then we're going to, of course, throw any... Tickets we have with them if we can get enough for Maltese. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's hop into it. So, for this Goku, um, he actually is a dual category leader. Uh, he leads the. I uh, just checked here. Um, he leads the Super Saiyan 3 category, which, if you don't know, we already have a lead for that. And that is the Bardock, who's a much better lead. He also leads a new category called Other World Warriors, which is a very small category and has only one L on it. So, you know, not the best category. That is not the right Goku. We're looking for an int, uh, it's saying to Goku. Um, now, I don't have any hopes for actually getting any uh, good units on this banner. And the reason for that, like, I don't expect to, I don't expect to summon either the Goku or the Vegeta. And the reason for that is because, uh, if you remember last Goku day, I literally had to spend, um, 500 stone, 510 stone just to get the unit. Now, even though this is not an LR, it's a T-Wall this time, that doesn't change the... F that doesn't make it much easier to get. Because, if you don't know, when you summon on... When you summon on Dokkan, it's all RNG. So either you have the luck, or you don't have the luck. And last Goku Day, I did not have luck when I first summoned on these banners. So I don't expect to get any luck this time so I don't expect to actually I don't plan to put either Goku or Vegeta at all um and as you can see we are getting nothing at all I mean my GS is all last time oh that's a long Kamehameha that is a long Kamehameha oh and a fake out into The transforming Goku. Come on, man. That's a featured SSR, and I got to be the. I got a featured SSR fake out to the transforming Goku from the 250. That is the bottom of my path on that Goku. That is my first dupe on the Goku. Well. Here's our last Marty on the Goku banner. I really want both of these units, but my Dokkan luck is atrocious. So we're obviously not getting anything from the Goku summons. Only something we're not getting anything from the Goku Martys. We're, we're not, we're not put, like, this is, we're not putting this Goku. I have to get extremely lucky on the singles, because uh, I don't know if I have enough for Martys. This does not give tickets. 
I need to get extremely lucky on the Goku uh, singles to even pull him, because... Because uh, we're not pulling him uh, this time. Let's hop into the Vegetas. So, we are definitely not pulling uh, Goku at all. Now, the Vegeta is also a dual category lead for the, um, he has a dual category lead for the, uh, he leads the Resurrected Warriors category, which, you know, you can argue, oh, thank you, Dragon Ball, we transform, and we got a screen, and double screen crack! Um, I don't remember what that means, but that's an, ex double screen cracks are extremely rare, I think they mean, uh, game, I think it means featured SSR, but I don't think it means new featured SSR, new, I don't think it means the newly released. Oh my god, we pulled the LR Vegeta, the only animal scene is the LR Vegeta, and that wasn't even the GSSR, the GSSR was a physical, but that is, but that man, oh my god, I gotta lock him up. I can't believe I pulled him. So yeah, I guess it does mean featured us as well. But anyway, as I was saying, it can argue whether he is the, like, out of the other units besides this Vegeta, which is better Resurrected Warriors category unit. Um, also, another thing you can argue with is, uh, uh, Right off the bat of the song. Uh, so you can argue with that. But when it comes to uh, the other category, it's Super Saiyan 2, which is a much bigger category than other World Warriors, and it includes pretty much, uh, like, four LRs. So there's three more LRs on that band, um, in that category than other World Warriors, with, of course, the LRs being Kale and Khalifa, um, I mean, Kao Khalifa, uh, the Int LR Super Saiyan 2 Go. What the? Um, okay, the app just slowly crashed for some reason, and so I have no idea what I pulled in that summon. So, obviously, we're gonna run a character list. And, um, this should tell us, said, say, new units on any new additions to the team. So, um, yeah. So, let's, uh, see. Um, since Super Saiyan 2 should be in this category now. Yeah, there it is. There he is! This is the new Vegeta! Oh my god! Ella, Super Saiyan 4, and... And, uh, the new Vegeta. This is Vegeta. This Vegeta man loves me right now. Give me the LR and the new Vegeta. Look at that. Look at that. Super Saiyan 2 category. Key plus to HP and defense 140. Or Resident Warrior category. Um, key plus to HP and defense plus 120. Or if we get him to his TU Austin, definitely gonna do a video with him. Uh, you guys can definitely... Super Saiyan 2 category, key plus 3 HP and attack and defense 170. Reservoir wise, key plus 3 HP and, and attack and defense 150. And he, um. How does he transform? Uh, okay, he transforms uh, when facing only one enemy whose HP is 80% or more, starting from the third turn. From the start of battle. Okay, but we got him. That that's awesome. We got the new Vegeta. That that is that I'm that I'm happy about. Uh, so anyway, um, now that we got the new Vegeta, we're obviously gonna go back into the one single. Um, I mean the one multi, and of course tickets, because we still got this one free summon for Vegeta, and we also got the tickets. That is pale. 
That is a pair of an SSR guaranteed, I'm pretty sure. That should not be the GSSR. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. That's what that means. Pairs usually mean something good. Um, but we might have actually gone in one of the... At the bottom of my path, I'm pretty sure. That's my first duper fit, who is not a featured unit. And I'm pretty sure this gives us a featured unit. That's also not a featured unit. Or is it means three SSRs or more, might mean. Yeah. Okay, uh, but I'm pretty sure that for G that Beerus is now my... Um, oh wait, they've been sent to the gift box. Let me go to my gift box to accept those. So we can see if we can do Maltese. Oh, uh, yep. So we're going to do a Maltese on each of them. And then we're going to end the video there. Uh, okay, I could have gone in, uh, we have Vegeta flying in, can we do it? Oh, oh my god, a fusion is original with the Zeno summon. This is my very first time getting the Zeno summon. I've never gotten the Zeno summon. That is a newly released Dokkan Festival or newly released LR guaranteed. That obviously means... That the unit we are getting in this summon to end off this video should be that Goku. And there he is. We got the Vegeta and the Goku. All because we got a Zeno summon. I'm definitely showing off both these units. We got the Goku. We got the Vegeta. And for the first time... No, I got the Goku, I got the Vegeta, I also got the LR Vegeta, and for the first time, I got one of those new summons. We have Beerus flying in, and we are getting a fusion. Another Super Vegeta fusion to finish off this video. That, I'm pretty sure, is another featured SSR guaranteed unit. That is ridiculous. And this is going to be... Not ball pan, I, ha I think that's a dupe of her, actually. That's either a dupe or my very first ball pan. Which I'm pretty sure we still need the, um... Still need the Dragon Ball Fusions. And we got a dupe of the LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. This unit did not like me join the anniversary. Also, last year the summons didn't like me. But this year... This year we put just two LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegetas, as well as both the Goku on his Zeno Summon and the Vegeta. That's insane. I would definitely show off both these units in a- You know what? I'm just going to run a Super Saiyan 2 category with the Goku and Vegeta on the same team. That way we can show them both off. And over the one, well, that's not a really good category. So, well, we show them. But that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to go down there. Click that like button because this video was hype as hell. Also, if you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button. Let me know you're enjoying the content. And also the bell notification. Smash the like and let me know. Subscribe. If you, if you go down the subscribe button, right, click it. Subscribe to the Mighty Nova channel. Hit the bell notification so you're notified as soon as a new video goes up. Because this is one of my most hype don't on some videos ever. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. We got. Both the units and two LRs. Most of the I have a summon ending in a video. Or in all. Bye guys.